Hello folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. So I've got a pretty cool flashlight for you, um, review for you today. This is actually uh, going to be my new EDC flashlight. I've been looking for a, a new EDC flashlight and this I think is going to fit that bill for right now. But this is the new, brand new Nightcore EDC 33. This flashlight offers a lot of cool features, so let's just get right into it. So as always, here's the Nightcore box. As you can see here, it boasts at 4,000 lumens max. You give you a max uh, distance of 450 meters, about 492 yards. Max intensity, 54,500 uh, candela. Impact resistance, two meters, IP6, IP68 rating for uh, uh, water resistance. Again, 4,000 lumens. So in the box, you're gonna get your, obviously your flashlight, USB-C charging cable. You get this pretty cool little paracord lanyard. Um, I haven't put that on there yet. Don't know if I'm going to or not. Um, so let's get right into it, talk about it. So this light here, brand new light. Again, it's, uh, as far as the LEDs uh, in here, you got a nice orange peel reflector. You're looking at a, I think it's a nine core UHI 20 max LED. Now that's a mouthful. So a nice uh, LED in there and you can see the little black dot in there and that's the uh, proximity sensor. Again, uh, like I said in previous videos, if it's on high, and you get too close to something, it'll automatically dim, which is a pretty pretty cool feature uh, in that. So as you'll notice, um, as far as you know, the look of the, of the light, it looks pretty much like the um, the MH12, MH12 Pro, uh, some of those lights as far as you know the look of it, the knurling right here, and stuff like that. You're looking at about this is an 18650 light it's completely sealed so it's a non-removable 18650 which i do like that's actually a interesting feature looking at about 4.5 inches long uh, your head diameter is about an inch and the tube diameter is just under an inch so for it to be a, a kind of a big light it's actually a fairly small uh, form factor and your, your weight is about 4.2 ounces or so in weight you got a nice heavy duty pocket clip here i mean really heavy duty uh, that pocket clip is very nice, does not come off, uh, which I do like that a lot. Uh, here's your on-off switch and your, you know, click, you know, click button switch, tail light switch, change modes, everything on there. It doesn't have a lot of modes to it, which I do like. One of the very uh, nice features I do like is it has a lockout feature right here. So this lockout feature is cool because you just pull this little button down to unlock it, push it up, you see the lock, now you're locked. It will not come on, but you pull it down, push the button, and it will come on. So I like that a lot because sometimes every once in a while, my lights do get turned on in my pocket, my packs, and stuff like that. So if you, if you have a, and I don't like the lockout features on some of these lights because you have to like, I don't know, hold the button down, press three times. I don't know. Just different lights have different lockout modes, and I don't like that. I like a quick, simple lockout mode. That way, if I need to get to the light and it's locked out, I can just pop this down, you're unlocked, and we can go. You know, pretty cool there. Uh, you have a, a hidden uh, USB charging port here. So the way to get to that is you turn this head right here. You turn the back of the head, turn it, and there's your USB-C port right here by your locking feature, which is really nice. It's hidden there. I like that a lot. And I also like the locking feature because when I pull this out of my pocket, as you can see, the locking feature is directly on the other side of the clip. So I know when I pull this out of my pocket, if the light won't turn on, I can just turn that down or I can feel for the switch and see, okay, the switch is up. It means it's locked. Now it's, now it's unlocked. This boasts also their lumen shield technology. And I think it's on here, right here. And you're probably wondering what this lumen shield is. And that's a pretty neat feature uh, of this light as well. We're going to talk about here in just a second. Right here, you'll see that your uh, light indicator as far as battery. Turn this on for you. There's your battery indicator lights. Again, I've said in uh, previous videos, I really like how they're putting those the battery indicator lights on there now so you can see. Obviously, this is our full charge. You got four batteries there. So this lumen shield feature, what this is is the lumen shield is a 4,000 lumen floodlight. So in order to get it, when the light is off, you're gonna just kind of depress it fully. And unlock it here and you're gonna get a 4,000 lumen floodlight. Now, if you half press it, you're gonna get a 1,700 lumen spotlight. So here's half press and here's full press. Now, when we go outside, and I'll show you at night, it's, 
you'll be able to see it a lot. So let's talk about the modes. So when you turn it on, you know, it has a memory function on it. Here's, we'll go through the modes. That should be ultra low, which is um, five lumens, and I run about 63 hours. Then you got low mode, 70 lumens, runs you about 31 hours. Medium mode, uh, 300 lumens, runs you about six hours and 58 minutes, right at seven hours. And then you got a high mode, which is turbo, or a high mode of 1200 lumens, and that's going to run you about two and a half hours. Um, so there, and again, we'll run through these modes outside so you can see. So very nice light. I have been very impressed with this thing. The, the downfall of this light is obviously since it being such a high output light, you can see right there, uh, it's hot. And it does get hot very quickly, especially on your high mode, your turbo mode, and or your lumen shield mode. I mean, you're talking about, I mean, it's thing heats up very quick. The good thing is in the lumen shield mode, when you have it just kind of fully depressed down, you have to hold the, hold the button down to get to that mode. Once you let off the button, it goes away. So it doesn't, you don't have an on, a constant on at 4,000 lumens, which is good and bad. Um, the lumen shield mode at 4,000 apparently is just only designed just for short uh, time, short distance uh, or short usages, short time usages. You got a quick search for something, turn it off and then turn it back down to your, like your regular mode or something like that. Um, but yeah, so let's go outside and uh, check out the features outside and we'll come back in, in just a minute. All right, got the Nightcore EDC 33. And go through your modes here really quick with you. There's high. Lights up so much, can't really tell. Doesn't really do it justice. Like I said before, let's go to the lumen shield mode. All right, so there's your search mode. Here's your lumen shield. It lights up so much, it is ridiculous. Let's see if I can kind of zoom out a little bit. All right, folks, let's wrap this video up. So, another awesome light uh, by Nutcore again. A um, couple of things with this light that I found and you kind of saw it outside when I was uh, clicking the button. If you don't fully, if you're changing the, changing the modes and you don't fully click this button, it will, you know, give a, a bright flash. Like it's kind of in between uh, modes that it doesn't quite know uh, what mode you want to go to. So just keep that in mind. You have to, you know, actually physically, you know, click that button uh, really well. But, you know, other than that, I think that, you know, it's, it's extremely bright light. Uh, I wish that for the brightness level, it would last longer as far as like the 4,000 lumens. If that's what they're going to do, they should, you know, if, if you're going to have a light that packs a punch, you need to make it last longer. Uh, but the problem with these, these lights, they get so extremely hot uh, that you really can't, um, or it's extremely difficult to, to make them last a long time uh, on the battery power that they have and not get that hot. But anyway, I think this would be a perfect light at 2,000 lumens or 2,500 lumens max, uh, but there's already lights out there like that. But you know, for something different, uh, I do like it. Like I said, this is my new EDC light, at least for right now. Uh, we'll see what, what they come out with next. I know they have an EDC 35 model that's even brighter, but it's also bigger. So I may get that one just to kind of test it out and show you some of the differences and whatnot. But, you know, other than that, I'm extremely happy with this light so far. Just have to figure out, like I said, a little bit of the quirks with it. But I do like it a lot. And, um, yes, folks, so... Uh, Leave your comments down below. What do you think about it? Um, what do you, th you know, what's your favorite EDC light and stuff like that? So I'll see you on another video really soon. Please get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have necessary skills to survive. And uh, thanks again for watching, folks. Thanks.